Hey YouTube, I am back after a month hiatus. Yes, I know it has been a while. <laughs> I just haven't been knowing what to talk about. I also have filmed like two videos that I just did not post. Is it dark? Can you see me? I hope you can see me. I feel like I always do this test. Anyways, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I am Jermaine Jagger. Hi. Um, Today, in case you read, the title of the video. I'm doing something a little different. I thought I would talk about some of the current events, hot topics. Won't be getting into the politics or whatever, but I will be getting into some of the more like entertainment, whatever things that may come up. And if you enjoy this video, definitely like and subscribe. You know, the whole spiel that everyone says. But if you like this video, definitely like it so I can know if I should do more of Hot Topics current events. And yes, it has been a month since I last uploaded a video. The algorithm hasn't really been picking me up and you know, it hasn't been like pushing, pushing, pushing me through, which is fine or whatever. But you know, it's just like that motivation. Like, it's a whole thing. It comes even with like social media in general. It's like, should I post? Do I need to post? What is the point of posting? But I'm happy that you all like my videos, who do like my videos, who are my followers. I'm so happy. Um, thank you so much. I super appreciate it and it really helps me keep going. So let's go ahead into these hot topics. What is going on? I feel like there's some crazy things that are happening that kind of make no sense. And as put in the subject of this video, like some of our celebrities, and I feel like this happens historically sometimes, where no one is perfect, no one is perfect, first word, and everyone is innocent until proven guilty. We live in a world these days where that seems to go, just get thrown out a window and everyone's instantly canceled, but you gotta just hold it for a moment. Innocent until proven guilty, is what we should live by. And if you don't know what I'm getting into right now, it's Lizzo. What's going on? Like, what happened? Now, the thing <laughs> that I find strange about the whole case is that this is a person who has promoted so many positive, like, you know, aspects. Ugh, aspects? Just positivity. She's like a whole beacon of positivity in general. And I mean, sometimes musically that can be pretty corny to some people. Like, you know, usually like, you know, you've had like Malcolm Moore and like other people that have created like more of like a positivity based musical route. Um, some people find it very corny and some people find it very inspirational. I am kind of in the middle. But beyond that, I feel like Lizzo has been a really impressive presence in music with her ability to sing, rap, um, play the flute. Like she's multi-talented, obviously. So it's kind of depressing. Well, not, I wouldn't say depressing, that's taking a little too far. But it's pretty sad to see that we've come here. I don't, I don't know exactly what my opinion on it is. I'm kind of split because like I said, I believe in innocent until proven guilty because we do live in a world these days where people can find advantages of accusing people but then we also live in a world where people can take things a little too far and do things they should not be doing but I'm gonna definitely say innocent until proven guilty with this situation I find it really disheartening if it is true um but like the Lizzo song says the rumors are true and I hope they ain't. Because the thing is, is that like, in this case, I feel like we could definitely find out if it's, you know, true. Because there's people involved, like say the dancer, the um, erotic dancer, erotic dancer, is that the word? Exotic dancer? I feel like you used to be called exotic dancer. Anyways, the erotic dancer that they say Lizzo wanted them to eat a banana out of whatever. I'm like... Where is that person? And can they come forward or did they come forward? And I just haven't done my research. But like, this person needs to come forward because we're going to know. But you know what's really interesting too is that we also live in a world, the world has changed, y'all. We live in a world where I remember in like the 90s and the 80s, like backup dancers and backup singers were kind of seen as like part of the posse, like part of the like the friend team, you know what I mean? So it was just like this whole thing dynamic. Like when you look at like say Madonna's Truth or There, 
Like, that movie, Madonna's Truth or Dare, like, if it came out today, Madonna would probably be canceled. <laughs> and I feel like back then she was kind of canceled, but it would be canceled in, like, a different way. Like, it would be like, oh my god, it's so unprofessional, you know, type of thing. Um, so it's a really different, because, like, even, like, Janet Jackson, her backup dancers used to be, like, her pals her besties like you know what i mean or at least that's the image that they projected but we don't live in that world anymore and you know backup dancers have to be seen as you know professional dancers in your like workforce you know what i mean like yes it's not like wells fargo but it's like, you know until you feel how that person you know really is and the vibe that they have like they're not your bestie so you can't be taking them to strip clubs and stuff you can't that's your that's your employee technically so it's just like we live in a different world we do and i think lizzo maybe got too comfortable I definitely feel like she possibly got too comfortable and some of the allegations I feel are also her being a boss as they say um but some of them are very extreme but I do feel like if it was a man in that position it would probably just be like oh he's taking care of business and I feel like we live in a different world now where like no, you gotta treat everybody as though they are your payroll if you paying them. Like, treat them professionally and with respect, child. Because, you know, the smallest thing these days really can be blown out of proportion and can be, like, strewed. And I'm not saying that the girls are, you know, misconstruing things or, like, exaggerating. I'm not gonna say that because, like I said, innocent until proven guilty. But this whole case, crazy! and i hope the rumors are not true or the allegations are not true but we shall see we shall see but we have to also believe what is the plaintiff what evidence shall we gotta believe the girls too we gotta like partially believe the girls we never see what they're gonna be innocent until proven it that's what i'm gonna say next on the docket is a really talented sister <laughs> Tosha Cat girl what's going on what's going on i am sitting on my hair child but like no what is going on like you know one other thing about lizzo i will say so i'm going back and forth but i just thought about doja cat and the whole entertainment industry in general it's weird what men get away with, I will say. It still to this day exists. Like, for instance, Chris Brown and all the stuff that he's just gotten away with is so strange to me. And R. Kelly got away with a lot of things for a long time. But, like, thinking about the younger, you know, people, like, say Chris, a Chris Brown, it's like, Jesus. Like, the allegations are so long. And they're not even allegations because they're just like, there's proof. Like the beatings and everything. It's just really crazy what men get away with. And he still played on the radio like every, every time I'm in my parents' car because they listen to like, you know, the radio, um, the local radio rather. It's like, you'll hear a Chris Brown song pop up. And I'm just like, why? Why are we still, I'm not going to hate. I don't know, but I can't say I'm not going to hate. But it's just like, it gets to a certain, certain point where it's not hate. It's just like, it's really a question. Why is this person still... Ciao. Anyways. But it really does go back to mental health. Because with Chris Brown, I feel like there's definitely a mental health issue. I think he's even admitted it. And to be honest, I do feel like someone needs to look in on doja cat because i feel like there is a mental health thing going on and no one seems to be really addressing it which is kind of sad it's like the same thing kind of that happened with azalea banks who's also so talented but we have to look after our talented people because artists have been known to like you know many artists have been known to like you know have some like it's like i don't want to say mental issues which is things that come up in their lives mentally can unfortunately drive them to be unstable, especially if they have such a like, you know, rise to stardom. Like we've seen it historically, like some people can't handle it. But anyways, with Doja Cat, I don't know what's going on with Sis. I do like some of the things that she's putting out. I don't, I don't know. Do I like it? Actually, I don't know, I'm, in, I'm on the fence. Like I think that last song, which, um covers not covers but samples Dion Warwick I feel like it was fun it's a fun song but the one prior to that attention or whatever it's called I'm just like girl 
And the thing is, is that the drama that she was brewing up before that came out, like it was the hottest motherfucking shit. And I'm just like, what is it? <laughs> her art but don't act like your past two or three albums were trash and then you put out that like it just makes no sense like attention was not attention grabbing like the only attention grabbing aspect of it was the fact that she hyped it up so damn much but to be honest the other video the second one should have came out you know with the Dion Moore example should have came out before that one because attention really isn't that pivotal so I'm curious of what the album is going to sound like but the whole thing about her part partner and all of that drama like her just stringing it along it's like girl sometimes you have to know when to close the laptop or close the cell phone or close just twitter or x or whatever they call it and why is it called x because that's crazy i hate the name of that <laughs> i'm just like oh let me x somebody that's so stupid elon musk is a mess and we must continue on so doja cat and her partner or whatever he is girl all I'm going to say is we choose the people we lay with or whatever it's called. I think that's a saying, whatever. But I don't know. I just, I just had higher hopes. I'm like, you do what you can. You do what you can. I'm like, where did you even find him from? Do they mingle in the same circle? Maybe she didn't want to find someone that mingles in the same circles. But at the same time, I guess we have to respect her decision. But at the same time, I, humans can't help but be curious. And in the allegations against him, I'm just like, girl, she did better. I really expected her to do better. I don't know. I don't know why I imagined her with someone like, a, um, what's his name? Love him. Jason Momoa. <sighs> <laughs> and I'm not saying she should be with Jason Momoa, but like someone like Jason Momoa or like, I don't know, um, Miley Cyrus's brother, the one that's in the rock band or something. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's just like, you know, some of our stars, we can't help but have higher hopes for them. Because it's not like we want to be in their lives or control their lives. You know what I mean, per se? But it's like, you see them and you think, you know, I don't know. We don't really know these people's personal lives, but I don't understand her being so negative towards her fans about, like, things that she does. Because, like, once you're a celebrity, that's going to happen. Even me having this tiny platform, it's like, you know, there could be a hater that pops up anywhere, you know? Anything you do can be hated on. So it's like, you have to know that comes with the territory. And I know she enjoys, like you know, trolling the internet and stuff. But sometimes she just takes it too far and it's completely unnecessary. But I think it's all part of a publicity stunt. Part of me feels like it's part of a publicity stunt. Like she says that she feels more free now that everyone, like so many people have unfollowed her. But at the same time, it's like, girl, you really should not be relying on who follows you in order to feel free. Like you are a celebrity, but so many resources at your hands. Like just close the Twitter or close the Instagram. Go on a trip with your real friends. Like... It's crazy how much people rely on followers these days. It's insane. Anyways, I'm trying not to make this video too long because I am notorious for making videos long. And that's one of the issues I have been posting videos. I'm like, let me edit a video. And I'm like, oh, this video ended up being 30 minutes. Next, because we, go, we gotta move on. Doja Cat and Lizzo, I just hope the best for them. And I hope everything works out. I really do. Um, next on the docket are the deaths that have recently occurred of people from my childhood. I think we get at a to I think humans get to a certain age where um I was checking the clock. <laughs> humans get to a certain age where your heroes are gonna pass away. So it's really sad to see someone like Sinead O'Connor and Pee Wee Herman pass away. Um I think last year child if i got the year but like you know there's been like tina turner passed away there's just so many icons that i've grown up with who are passing away so it was really sad to hear about shanae because she's had such a hard life and that's another one who's like you know purely an artist who unfortunately suffered from mental health issues and also like had a really hard life in her past like i watched a documentary about her before like her death and everything i was like jesus her mother like definitely check out a documentary i don't know which one i think it was a random youtube documentary or something but like her life was really 
really dark. And she came through it like a phoenix. But unfortunately, like, because of the incident on SNL, I think, yeah, it was SNL, I believe. Yeah, I think it was SNL. Um, of her ripping up the Pope's picture. It's just like, it's so sad how people, even back then, just canceled people. And clearly she had a point that she was making because looking back at it now, it's like, wow. It's crazy. It's crazy world. So rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. Also rest in peace, Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman. Absolute icon. Someone I looked up to so much as a child who influenced me so much as an adult. Like sometimes I look around my apartment and I'm just like, I don't know, there's like certain elements about like Pee Wee's Playhouse especially that like the decorating and everything was fucking iconic looking back at it it was so like memphis group design memphis design group um it was so just like big fun which is like completely my aesthetic um i will say my interior aesthetic really is influenced by pv's playhouse Return to Oz. There's a scene in Return to Oz when they're in um, Oz in the castle or whatever. Um, and Michael Jackson's Moonwalker during that whole section where he's singing, I think he's singing Ben, but it's like looking at all his objects, his glittering objects on like his dresser or whatever. Like those are three huge influences to me that like just stick out in my brain. Anyways, back to Paul Rubin. Um, he would be very missed and he's such a pioneer and just amazing talent. Um, not even in ch just children's TV, but in like comedy and things. And I feel like there are definitely some career kids that grew up in the 80s and 90s that looked up to him. Like he, Pee Wee Herman was such a great character that he created that was just like this person that was themselves. Like themselves regardless of what society thought of them like Pee Wee Herman Paul Rubin created the character Pee Wee Herman and Pee Wee Herman and Paul Rubin are icons so rest in peace to those two people um Paul Rubens and Sinead O'Connor very sad and will very much be missed but their art will live on forever their legacy um what else is there to talk about I'm just curious what Wendy Williams is going to do, too, now. So I hope she's going to be... I don't know. I feel like, you know, she was going through a lot of mental health things, too. This is really hot topics, ain't it? She was going through really a lot of mental health issues, too. And, you know, now that her ex-husband is gone downhill, because that all went to shit, um, his whole little situation, I wonder if she's going to come out of it like a phoenix. I really do. Like, I really hope she gets help. It's so sad. We live in like a really weird society where, and I feel like it's been like this, but it's even worse now with social media where we look at these celebrities as though like they're like circus animals or something. Like it's a zoo and we're just like watching the fires burn or something. Or It's just so weird. Instead of like actually being passionate and caring about them, you know? Not necessarily caring about them, but like caring about them as a viewer. Like, a lot of times when I see things like that, I'm like, is she okay? Like, who is looking after this person? Are they just letting this person, like, turn to dust? It's just really sad. And I know she's done some sh shady stuff in the past towards other people. But at the same time, it's like, I can't help but feel, like, some compassion about the situation. So I hope she gets better. I don't know why I went into Wendy well, Williams. Just stuck out of my mind from nowhere. Let's move along. So, <laughs> I think that's going to be it for Hot Topics. Um, part of our current events, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it current events. Um, I did want to bring up, if I keep doing current events, I would like to bring up, like, little things that I've found along the way. Like, little things that I've bought. Um, so, first... Well, only. Well, first, <laughs> there's this really cool record label called Numero. Um, and they do amazing compilations. But not only do they do amazing compilations, some of them have amazing packaging. I'm gonna try to wrap this up because it's getting dark out. But um, I picked up three records from Numero. 
And I am so, I have not unwrapped these. I'm kind of afraid to unwrap these because they're so good. Like, like this one is, I am such a freak for like packaging and the thought process. Like I've always been a freak about like design and packaging. Even when I was a kid, I remember I was like designing like not only clothes when I was a kid because I definitely wanted to be a fashion designer and I you know, I, <laughs> um, but just design in general. I remember designing like soap dishes and shit. But anyways, when it comes to like packaging and advertising and stuff, I get so, oh God, it just, it just, oh, and even architecture. It is number 95. So this compilation, the first one I'm going to open up, I'm not going to take the entire shrink off, but it's so fucking cool. Like this one, virtual experience software. It's inspired by like um like you know the like Microsoft God, what do you call it? um disc, like the floppy disk. So in the like eighties, like floppy disk kinda were in this type of packaging, of course smaller. But what does it say? Well, this is really long. As a for corporate banality, it turned the corner in the 90s. A new generation of vibrant software generated soundscapes mm, emerged. Communal access to the internet propagated the new hive mind of ideas online, giving way to smoother, stress-free textures. Mm. The PC way, oh, the PC revolution opened the gateway to ray trace playgrounds of color and light. Limited silicone vinyl. I had to cut that short. Um, so yes, it says in the bag, virtual experience software version 1.0 installation diskette. I remember these diskettes because I was a kid and I was like really into computers and nerdy shit and I still am um but only like the older stuff everything's kind of so bland these days but yeah it says insert into 3.5 inch drive a oh God, this is so nostalgic reboot computer hard drive install VES according to supported operating system instructions remove diskette when complete so yes there are eight tracks on here um all by artists from the past and it's just so cool. Part of me wants to like not open this. <laughs> like there's a part of me that's just like, this is art, I shouldn't open it. But um, let's see, do I have time left? Oh my God, we're already, ooh. Yeah, I won't open it. I should open it, I should open it. It's just really hard to open it without like messing it up. I'm afraid, I'm actually not gonna open this one. Oh, does that open it? Imagine I just like ruined it, it's just so pretty. Okay, so yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna just peel off like this because this one opens from the top oh so cool and it, it, like let me see it, like pulls out oh i think the vinyl it pulls out like this like oh look at that that is so damn cool i am so impressed so let me hurry up <laughs> this is the packaging and it is on clear vinyl how cool is that oh my god I am chat it is the cool things the little things I'm excited to listen to this I've already sampled some of it um this is the other one I had another one too that I was going to talk about but I'm running out of time this one is from the inspired by the 80s um look at it's crazy <laughs> This sleeve is made out of denim. It even has stitching on it. Can you see it? I am so damn impressed. Ah, it's like a work of art. Anyways, this one is inspired by the 80s. Um, there are actually like nostalgic 80s tracks on here. Like, you know, like some people just put out like a seven inch or something back in the 80s. Um, so yeah, they've compiled some really cool 80s tracks. Um, it's just such a beautiful packaging also. Um, this is num, <laughs> num 110 and it's on rivet gold vinyl. Another cool thing that they did is they made the label like you know when you buy denim jeans and I just think it's so impressive. So let me get this open. I decided on this color vinyl because they also had a red um, but I thought this one would just like go better with it but yes oh so cool so i'm not gonna oh, oh it's it's actual freaking denim and there's like a little working pocket there i just can't so you know some people might call this a gimmick i call it art um and i'm excited to listen to this the label is also really cool with the little hang tag so yeah i'm gonna listen to this tonight and yes, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about current events and hot topics or whatever. They're probably not that hot 
topic anymore, but I feel like these are ongoing things that are happening in the world of entertainment. And yeah, so check me out in the next video. Definitely like this video if you enjoyed this topic and want me to do more. I would be excited too because I feel like give me something to talk about um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys have a beautiful upcoming fall because summer has been too damn hot y'all talk about global warming so yes see you in the next video bye